so then I got some on my pillow when I went to sleep and that wasn't cool. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. welcome back to our channel i hope you guys are all doing well i forgot to film an intro for this video but as you can see from the title i'm going to share with you guys my experience with turmeric face masks so we're gonna get into the video but before we do so don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and without further ado let's get right into it so the first thing you'll need of course is a bowl to put the mask in and you will need turmeric powder. I use powder, but you can use the normal like turmeric. Um, then you will also need apple cider vinegar and a piece of half of a lemon. So what I normally do, I put like, I want to say like, it's not even a full teaspoon, like half a teaspoon, but you will see later I go back and add some more because it wasn't enough. Just go as you want. I was making enough for one day so i added half a teaspoon then one shot of apple cider vinegar and then i added the lemon until i got the consistency i wanted and make sure you basically squeeze the lemon and squeeze the seeds out because you don't want the seeds in there i had a few that fell in there so you don't want that take it out and keep adding the lemon until you get a consistency that is you don't want it to be too watery but you don't want it to be too powdery as well so make sure it's liquidy kind of like a cream i would say and keep adding more if you think you need more on your face as i mentioned i went ahead and added more because what you see here is not enough for my whole face i don't know what i was thinking so i probably in the end ended up adding a full teaspoon of turmeric powder and then just one shot of apple cider vinegar and the lemon until I get the consistency that I want and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like hey guys so today is monday and it is day one of this turmeric mask i've tried it before on and off but it, i feel like the last time that i did it for a really long time for like a week straight it was like a while ago and i did see benefits so i wanted to show you guys how it went for me so this is what my paste looks like i mean you guys saw i made just enough for like one day so i'll just keep making it you can make a big bulk but i think i just prefer doing this and instead of like making a lot and putting it in the fridge because then most of the time i forget that it's there so it's easier for me to just make it every single day but before we start i wanted to show you guys my skin okay so this is my skin i have a few blemishes like over here um some dark spots on my forehead um a few dark spots here my problem is mostly like dark spots because i have one here i think i had a pimple and then like i tried popping it and that's my problem like when i have pimples they leave dark marks so yeah that's basically like all the dark spots that i have on my face are basically from dark marks from like pimples because it leaves dark spots it leaves them so this is what my face looks like this is day one and we'll see the progress honestly okay so my head my hair is tucked away i just put this bonnet because you want to keep it like far away from this because like if you don't know turmeric stains and i also put my robe because it's just easier i don't want to like get anything dirty so that's what i'm gonna do um i'm using this is an old makeup brush it even broke off so whatever that's what i'm gonna be using to apply the mask on my face and i did go ahead and wet it and i did already like wash my face um cleansed it i think it works better if you cleanse your face first but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this mask
so my mask is on i just realized that i wasn't filming with my light so it wasn't as bright but my mask is completely on i'm gonna wait until it completely dries normally it's about like 20 minutes i would say and then i'm gonna go ahead and wash it off i normally wash it off in the shower i just use the shower head because i don't want to get my hands dirty or stained i know like my mom she likes using gloves but i'm i just prefer using the shower head and it's easy and as soon as the first coat is off then it's easier for me to go with my soap or facial cleanser or whatever and just wash off my face so yeah i'm gonna wait till this dries it's usually about 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes and then i'll come back and wash it off and show you guys my face okay so i just finished washing off my face and i'm just drying it with a towel normally i use paper towels but we're out so i'm just using this towel when you do go and like wash your face you want to make sure you scrub really well because you will get like a tint if you just go ahead and just rinse it off like it's gonna stay so basically i went and scrubbed it with my face wash and of course i used my face towel because if you just rinse it off it's not gonna come off you're gonna have a yellow tint and it has happened to me where i didn't like really like wash it off properly and scrub it off so then i got some on my pillow when i went to sleep and that wasn't cool but yeah basically this is what my face looks like uh getting a little closer for you guys so this is what it looks like after the first wash So yeah, that's what my face looks like. I will go ahead and moisturize my face and like go to sleep and I'll be back tomorrow tomorrow for day two. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so today is day number two of this mask thing. And um, this is actually, let me show you guys how my face looks. Okay, so this is how it looks. This is the front, I have a few blemishes here. This is the other side, I have a few here, but not that much. I do have a few little bumps, but not that much. So I did go ahead and wash my face, of course, cleaned it up. So this is my mask, I made a new one today. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it now that you guys have seen my face before I start. So yeah, I'm gonna go apply it. Okay, so this is what my face looks like. Of course, I'm gonna wait till it dries off about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it off in the shower and I'll come back. I forgot to mention this yesterday, but you do kind of have like a tingling sensation. I wanna say like the first day, maybe the second day too, but you get used to it. Just push through it. Nothing's happening to your face. Your face isn't burning off except if it's like really excessive obviously but it's just a small tingling sensation that's normal that's the turmeric and the apple cider vinegar and uh, lemon mixed together it does that to your face it just tingles a little bit but it's nothing too bad it's nothing too serious you can get through it so yeah i'm just gonna wait for it to dry and i'll be right back so guys this is my face i just washed it off and i used paper towels because I have some more now to dry off my face. I feel like it's better and it gets more of it off. I feel like I still have a tint of yellow a little bit, but not too much. And I got my hair wet, so next time I'm definitely keeping my bonnet. Like that's, I feel like with the bonnet it's just easier because my hair isn't in the way, you know? But basically, yeah, this is what my face looks like. Let me show you guys from up close. Okay, so basically, this is what it looks like on this side. This is what it looks like in the middle. And then on this side. One thing I do like about turmeric, it gives you a really good glow. Basically, this is my face after day two. It will be a while before like I feel like you see a lot of improvement. But yeah, this is what it's like. So I'm gonna go ahead, moisturize my face as usual, and I'll be back tomorrow for day three. So good night, see you guys tomorrow. 
Hey guys, so today is Wednesday, it is day three of the turmeric thing. So, um, without further ado, first let me show you my skin. I already have my bonnet on this time, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the mask on. Okay guys, so I went ahead and washed off the mask from my face once again. Let me get in closer to show you my face. So yeah, here is my skin. I feel like they're fading a little bit. I can kind of see, I don't know if you guys can pick it up on camera, but I feel like it's bringing out some of my impurities a little bit because I have like a pimple starting here. But other than that, so far so good. My skin feels nice. So yeah, I'll be back tomorrow to show you guys day four tomorrow. So yeah, I'll be back. Good night guys. Hey guys, today is Thursday and it is day four of this turmeric face mask thing. So let me go ahead and show you guys my face before I apply the mask. So this is what my skin looks like. I have a pimple here. So annoying. So now it is time to apply the mask. Okay guys, so I am back. I just washed off the mask off of my face and this is how I'm gonna show you guys how my face looks like. Okay, so now that you guys are closer, you can see this is what my face looks like. I feel like my dark spots are like kind of fading away, which is good. So they're kind of fading away. My skin is so soft, actually, like it feels really soft. Even though the mask was kind of tingling today, it feels really, really soft. My pimple went down a just a little bit. Hopefully like it goes away. My forehead is pretty much like clear. But yeah, I feel like it's been doing good, you know. Like I said, I felt a bit of tingling today just because I've been like trying to like get off some, not some pimples, but some scabs. Um, so don't do that. I, I don't know why I always do that, but yeah. So that's what it, my face looks like. So yeah, basically this is what it is. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey guys, so today is Friday and it is day five of this turmeric face mask thing. So yeah, I already went ahead and put my hair in my bonnet. I put my robe on because I keep spilling things. Well, yeah, actually I spilled some stuff yesterday and I already washed my face. So let me just show you guys how that looks. Okay, so this is a close up of my face before the mask and now I do notice like around my mouth it's kind of dry but I don't think it's due to the mask honestly it's just because I haven't been moisturizing enough around my mouth but other than that my skin feels fine and my pimple that was here did go down this morning and it's basically kind of gone it's like a little scar so that's pretty much it okay so let me go ahead and put the mask on and that's pretty self-explanatory so i will fast forward this part So guys, I had my mask on for about 30 minutes and I just finished washing it off and drying it off with a paper towel. Um, I honestly prefer this because then I can get like any excess. I feel like my face still kind of has a yellowy tint or maybe that's just in my face, but in my head, but 
there's not really much coming off on the paper towels so that's good let me show you guys what my face looks like for day five okay so after using the mask this is how my face looks my skin feels so smooth like i'm not even kidding and i can see like the glow but this is how it looks my dark marks are fading a little bit and my scar from my pimple too and i've noticed that i don't have as many dark marks on my forehead anymore and then my pimple that was here has gone down tremendously so yeah this is what it looks like as i said i was getting dry here so but that's my fault because i need to like moisturize better at night around my mouth because i was kind of dry before starting this whole turmeric thing and i think like the turmeric just made it like even drier so i'm definitely going to work on that but other than that this is what my face looks like guys so we're almost done with this challenge it's not really a challenge i don't know why i keep calling it a challenge but we're almost done this was day five i will be back tomorrow for day six but till then you guys have a good night see you hey guys so welcome back today is saturday and it is day six of doing this turmeric mask so we're almost there we're almost there um let me show you guys my skin So let me apply the mask and yeah, I'll wash it off and I'll be right back. Okay, so just finished washing off the mask, kept it on for a little longer than 20 minutes, probably like 30 minutes or so just because I was doing other things but let me show you guys my skin on day six so this is what my skin looks like so guys yeah this is what it is honestly my skin looks really really glowy and it feels really really smooth my dark marks are fading like they're not as dark as they were when I first started this thing. It wasn't as tingly as it was in the first few days actually because I think my skin got used to it now and I don't have any open scars or scabs so that helped but basically this is what my skin looks like on day six and I'll be back tomorrow for the final day and the final reveal. Bye guys! okay guys welcome back to day seven i have my makeup on today but i'm about to wash all of this off and then i'll come back to show you guys my skin before i put on the aloe vera mask so just one second it will be real quick and i'll be back okay so i have washed my face i changed and i put my bonnet on just to get my hair away from my face and let me show you guys what my skin looks like at the start of day seven it's definitely like better but you know before i give you guys my what i think let me put the mask on So guys, I have washed my face, cleaned the mask off, now I'm just pat drying it with um, a paper towel because I feel like this is better just to get like any excess off as well. And yeah, let me show you guys what my face looks like on this last day, day 7. So this is what my skin looks like on the last day. This is my side. I feel like most marks have basically faded like a lot of them have faded they're not as dark as they used to be this is my forehead my forehead I think looks the best because I had so many like small bumps and so many dark spots and there's less dark spots and my bumps are basically gone like it's all smooth and then this side as well I have pretty much most of them are gone but yeah this is what my skin looks like so guys this is basically what it looks like on day seven I'll probably insert a picture of side by side of when I started on day one and now what my skin looks like 
and yeah basically i might actually continue this on but i'll talk more about it about my thoughts and what i think in the next clip so yeah i'll go more in detail about it but this is what my skin looks like so guys i know i said i would talk about it more um at the end of the video but i forgot to film an outro so basically all in all i would definitely recommend this to everyone as i mentioned multiple times in this video i have done this before this is not my first time trying it and i would definitely recommend it if you're someone that would like to fade your dark spots because this is definitely good i have done it in the past where i've used it for more than a week and that definitely helped but a week is sufficient to just lighten your dark spots and then you can go in with your normal skincare routine and that will definitely help with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys would like to see more skincare videos from us comment down below don't forget to subscribe of course like this video if you like it and share with all your friends and i hope to see you guys in our next video bye guys you just wanna